okay here we will see now how to integrate uh, bootstrap 5 uh, template the admin template into the symphony application so first let's go to the code okay and if i go here you can see i've included uh, this is my demo my app and i've included the uh, included the folders in assets okay that is this assets css and js folder okay that is from my admin theme so my admin theme is located in uh, downloads so i'll show you where it is located so this is my admin theme okay so i have copied the folders from this okay from the dist folder these three folders and i have pasted it into the demo apps assets folder okay and this is the html page so this is the bootstrap html that i have been uh that i will be including so this is the dashboard page okay so i'll go ahead and uh, go to my home page and just i'll paste this code here now if we run this we can see that no styling is applied here so let's change this okay so so how we need to change this is we need to copy this so our directory is in assets so in the main assets folder so we'll go ahead and uh, include this so we can see that we have style here so we need to include it here so i will copy this since in my assets folder i have css folder and then from css admin lte.css will load so i will include this i will remove this code here okay i'll save this now i will copy this and i will include it here so this will be my js folder now so js so this will be a js and we'll copy this uh, file here as well and we'll paste it here and we'll remove this code here okay these are the two files that i have included and if i reload the page now i should see a bootstrap 5 okay the admin dashboard okay so this works fine so now what we'll do is we'll create a layout for this type pages okay so let's clear this okay let's clear this and let's okay so if i reload the page now so i should have the admin dashboard that comes to me like this so now what i need to do is i need to uh, break it into layouts so in my base layout okay i'll copy the html in the base layout so this will be my base layout here so i will copy it here okay i will copy this here okay in my base layout and we'll put this title here title block style sheets we'll include it okay so in my head uh, i'll remove this and i will put this okay block style sheet will go and we'll put it down here okay just after this okay then what is needed more is the body block so we have this body block here so okay let's see where the body will start so this is our body wrapper this is our nav bar and a side
okay so okay let me inspect the element and check so this is my dashboard so so this will be a main block here so it will start from this tab header content so main so this is the main so from main we have to replace everything okay so this app content header and that everything should come from the uh child blocks so we'll go here and we'll see dashboard dashboard okay so we'll say dashboard here here is our dashboard so this is the view this is the page app main and uh from app main what do we have from main till here so we'll just minimize this we'll minimize this okay i'll just copy this component here this we need to remove and okay let me change my home component first so this is my base okay so my home component will be something like this okay it will include the base component so if i go to the code if i go to my home and if i put this block here okay now my from base component i'll copy this i'll cut this lines here so i'll cut the cut the content from main and i will put it in this file here so this will load from the home component okay all the dashboard content and that and a base component will be this and uh, okay so let's see if this works fine and if we don't get any errors let's reload the page okay block title has already been defined it is telling me uh, i think i need to remove the block content the title from this okay let's remove this and remove this title as well and let's see if it works block style sheet also okay so let's remove this since we are not using okay let's reload this okay we can see that our dashboard has been included but uh, we are not getting the proper dashboard here uh, okay we will get the proper dashboard because we are not getting it because of this okay okay we are not getting it because of this and a block title uh, because i had included it multiple times hence that issue was coming so now we have this block title here okay now it should work fine uh, because i ha i had already used multiple times the content hence it was creating an error okay we have loaded but a body tag is not loading that is because let's see we'll copy this body here from this okay okay let's let's edit this template okay first we'll copy this and we will go to main main okay we have to put it here okay once we put this here then we need to go to uh what block is included now we need to go copy this okay and we'll put it here somewhere just below this okay this is a javascript block and we'll clear this data now from here okay so and we'll save this and if we run this now uh we should see yes we see we should see the dashboard page okay
okay we have seen the dashboard page now let's go ahead and create another page that is the about page just to show you the different pages that we can create using this so i will go ahead and uh, now this is the dashboard page which is loading i will create an about page so we have a about.html and we can see this is our about page here so what i'll do is uh, since we have already included extends the base html tree so we'll have a uh, same layout so this will be the app content header so we'll have an we'll, we'll just copy this code here okay this will be a about page and this will be we'll just say about us about us okay we'll uh, say about us and then we will uh, okay home about okay we'll just say about us here just uh so what we'll do now is we'll uh, remove this app content. We'll remove this container fluid. So we'll remove all this data from this page. Okay, we have removed all this data. And we'll just say about here, okay. We'll just say div class row then div div okay and this will be this will be about us content okay we'll go here okay this will be okay about does content will go here so now if i click here and if i say about okay we do not have a route so we need to create a route for this so we'll create a route for this file so we'll go to our home controller and in this will create a route so this will be the route about and if i now refresh this uh we should see the about us page content goes here so this is how the templates work in this so we can see we've created another route here also if you want to create one more route then we can say like a contact route then we can just include a contact here contact this will be a contact route contact okay and this will be contact so here we'll have a contact contact.html.twig and uh, let's create this page now okay so i'll just copy paste this code in the contact and uh, here will uh, what will happen here is uh, this will be a contact page so contact contact and uh, contact okay and we'll have a form here okay so let's get a form here bootstrap 5 contact us bootstrap form okay just we will create a form a dummy form so just to showcase you how it works okay so i'll copy this and i will paste it here so now if i save this and i've already saved the control i guess and if i go to contact
okay you can see our contact form is also displaying now so this is how you change the routes and work with the routes and integrate bootstrap 5 template uh, into the application so hope you uh, like this video and please do comment if any uh, of the any concept if you didn't understand I'll put this code on the GitHub so you can download it on your local machine.